Hi guys! Hello grade 5! Welcome back to our science class. This is Mom Chris and we are still with our quarter 3, week 4 with our learner's pocket. Open and close your kit. Our most essential learning competency is infer the conditions necessary to make a bulb light up. Our core content, a simple DC circuit and the relationship between electricity and magnetism in electromagnets. References, our science textbooks. Science Lee and Borders, pages 144 to 147. In the previous lesson, you have learned how light interacts with different materials. You also learned that optics is the study of refraction, which refers to the bending of light as it passes through different materials. Reflection, which refers to the bouncing back of light when it hits an object. Absorption, that refers to a material taking in of light and not reflecting it back. And transmission, that refers to the passing of light through some materials. This time, you will learn the conditions necessary to make a bulb light up. Look around your house. How many appliances do you see? How many are currently plugged into your wall outlets? Most households have several devices that make use of electricity. For example, your television, your refrigerator, your computer, your electric fan, and etc. The number of appliances that you have at home shows how important electricity is in our everyday lives. How does electricity flow to your appliances? There are two conditions that must be met in order for electricity to flow. First, there must be a source of electricity. Second, there must be a complete path for the electricity to flow through. Look at the illustrations carefully. This is an example of simple circuit. Look what we have here. We have the light bulb, we have the wire, we have the battery, and we have the switch. Look at the arrows. This is an example of the electricity that flows here on the arrows through the wires, okay? The picture above shows an electrical circuit which has four parts, the source, light bulb, wires, and switch. Look at this. Setup A is an open circuit, this one. And setup B is a closed circuit. How can you differentiate the two? Okay, look at the switch. Imagine this is the switch. It is open. And this is the switch of this closed circuit. Okay, so let's go further than this with the next slides. Okay, in setup A, there is a gap or no complete path from one end of the circuit to the other end. For this reason, electricity does not flow while in setup B, a wire is attached to the negative end of the battery, while the other wire is attached to the positive end. Both wires are attached to the bulb. Such a circuit is called a closed circuit. A closed circuit makes a bulb light up because the path of the electricity is complete, allowing electricity to flow through it. Look at this illustration. 
if it is open circuit, what can you see? And if it is a closed circuit, what can you see? You notice that if it is a closed circuit, the bulb lights up. And if it is a, an open circuit, the bulbs will switch off. Can you notice that? Okay. The switch shells that you see at home are electrical components that can make the circuits of the lights in your homes open or close. So turn on the lights, you have to close the circuit by pushing the switch on. To turn off the lights, you have to open the circuit again by pushing the, the switch off. The activity that you are going to perform will clearly explain the conditions necessary to make a bulb light up. Here's your learning task number one. Prepare the materials listed below. If not available, you may use other materials at home to perform the activity. You may ask the help of your parents, guardians, or any adult members of the family if needed. Here are the materials. The title of this activity is Construct Your Own Circuit. The materials are 1, 1.5 battery, it depends on the available battery at your home or any battery available at your home. A small bulb, a copper wire. Look at this example. This is the battery. It is this is the bulb and this is the wire. This one is the switch. Please note that handle the materials with care, especially the bulb. It may break. Okay. Number one, connect the materials as shown in the diagram above. Observe what happens. Remove the switch connection. Observe what happens. And after performing your activity, we have questions that you have to answer. In your setup, the switch and the wires connect the light bulb to the battery. Number one question, what happened to the bulb after you connect the switch to the wire? And why? Number two, what happened to the bulb after you detach the switch from the wire and the wire? This is learning task number two. Label the parts of the electric circuit. This is easy. Number one, as you can see, what is that? Number two, number three, and number four. Number 4 is given. Look. And this is your learning task number 3. Also label the, the following circuit with open or closed circuit. So you just write open or closed circuit here on the block. Learning task number four, draw an example of open and closed circuit. Consider the rubric below in doing the task. Your rubric is in your learner's pocket. This is an example of open circuit and closed circuit. So you just draw an example of this. Learning task number 5, write a brief essay with at least 5 sentences on why it is important to switch off appliances when not in use. Consider the rubric in your learner's pocket. 
so now with our assimilation let us differentiate the open circuit and closed circuit and what is their similarity their similarity here in the center so what is open circuit open circuit there is a gap or no complete path for from one end of the circuit to the other end from the word open the electricity the electricity does not flow and what is closed circuit it makes the bulb light up because the path of electricity is complete okay it makes the light bulb it makes the bulb light up and this is the similarity a road in which an electrical current can flow around okay so this is what we call the venn diagram this is the venn diagram about our lesson that is open circuit and closed circuit okay i hope you get it And in our last part, learning task, read each item carefully, choose the letter of the correct answer. Number one, it is the source of electrical energy. Letter A, battery, B, switch, C, wire, B, bulb. Number two, it is a circuit where electricity cannot flow. Open circuit, closed circuit, battery, or switch. Number three, it connects the light bulb to the battery. A wire, B source, C open, circuit, B bulb. Number four, it is used to open a close, open and close the circuit. So letter A switch, B source, C circuit, B bulb. Number five, it is a complete path of electricity. Close circuit, switch, circuit, B open, circuit. Write your answers in your papers. Okay kids, congratulations, you did great with our lesson. And here's my bonus for you. Thank you everyone for listening. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more video lessons. This is Mom Chris signing off.